Solutions in colloids. Let's do what is chapter 11 in the OpenStax chemistry book. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, first, we're going to do some other measures of concentration. Molarity is the one that we use the most in Chem 111, and probably most of chemistry. Molarity is the old familiar molar, um, capital M, and that's moles per liter. And this is moles of solute and liters of solution. Um, and this is why when you make a material in the lab, you dissolve a solid in a volumetric and you add water until it gets to say 100 mils rather than adding 100 mils to the solid. Um, because the volume changes a little bit, the volume of the solution changes a little bit as you add more solute. Uh, molarity works for a lot of things. It works really well for equilibrium constant and kinetics, as we've seen. Um, kinetics is one, I think, where it works particularly well. But we're going to do two more things here. We're going to do mole fraction and molality. Um, we'll do mole fraction first. Mole fraction is um, just that. It is the fraction of the moles of the thing you're interested in over divided by all of the moles. Moles of chemical you're interested in. In this case, it'll be a solute um, over total or the sum of the moles. And that's actually what we'll do. Um, we'll calculate, in this case, it says, please calculate the mole fraction of saturated lithium chloride in water near room temperature, where the solubility is 84.25 grams of lithium chloride dissolves in 100 mils of water. So our task here is to find, convert each of these into moles and add them together, and that will be the total moles. And then the moles of, in this case, the lithium chloride is the thing we're interested in. That'll go on top and be divided by the total. So let's do that. Um, here I have the molar mass of lithium chloride. I guess we'll need it for water too, but let's take, um, let's actually just make some more room and do this down here. First, we'll find the moles of each chemical. Um, so let's see, we start out, we were told that we have 84.25 grams of lithium chloride. I'm going to do a what I would consider like a unit conversion here to get that to be moles. Um, I'm a fan of putting the units first because then I know where to put the number. Um, and I spend less on erasers that way. Um, so I was told that the molar mass of lithium chloride is 42.39 grams per mole. If I cancel, I end up with moles, which is what I want. Okay, let's do that. Should be about two moles, something like that. 84.25 divided by 42.39 is 1.9. How many sig figs? Four sig figs. This is a very un Geltz question. Geltz usually measures things to two sig figs and feels pretty good about achieving even that. Okay, anyway. Um, this is the number of moles I have to four sig figs. We'll keep that for now. <clears throat> um, let's add a period here. Um, so 100 mils of water to three sig figs. That'll make this a better question. Um, other than otherwise, we'd have to do a one sig fig. Okay. So now I have the moles of lithium. We have to get water to moles. Um, I'm going to go from milliliters to grams and then from grams to moles. You could do this different ways, but this is what I'm going to do. So I know that water has a density that will let me cancel this. Um, near room temperature, the density is about one gram per mil. Um, I forget exactly what it is, but let's call that exact because we don't need to worry about the sig figs. That'll have three sig figs. Um, if I do this, I'm in grams. Water has a molar mass of 18 grams per mole. Grams cancel, and I'm in moles of water. Two, three sig figs? Well, let's keep three. Well, let's do this. Moles of lithium chloride, let's keep track of our chemicals. I like to say that moles is an incomplete unit. Um, without the chemical itself, moles is only so useful. So these are the moles of each thing. 
Um, we said it's now at the top of the screen. We want the moles of the chemical of interest. In this case, that's lithium chloride divided by the total moles. So let's calculate the total moles. Oops. Um, 1.987 moles of lithium chloride plus 5.56 moles of water. Um, my sig figs will now get cut to the 0.01's place, but that's okay. That's okay. 7.55 moles of everything total. In total. Okay, the chemical I was interested in was lithium chloride. So I'm going to set up the fraction and divide. Um, so I had um, lithium chloride was 1.987 moles of lithium chloride divided by the total moles and that will get me a literally a fraction 1.987 divided by 7.55 um, this will get cut since it's a multiplication division this will get cut to three sig figs and we'll wind up with 2.6 well, let's do it as a decimal. 0.263. You could put this in scientific notation, but since it's a fraction, like out of one, um, I think it actually makes more sense this way. This is a fraction, right? So it's moles over moles. So this has no units. So technically, that's my mole fraction. Um, this is usually given the symbol chi, which is the, I don't know how to describe it, the super fancy x, the classy x. is mole fraction. Um, you could also express this as a percent. You can multiply it by 100 and get 26.3%. Here we were asked for mole fraction, um, so that's what we'll do. Did I answer the question? Yep. Um, I have the right units because it's a fraction. It should have no units, so that's good. And I think I have three sig figs after I do that because I had three sig figs in the volume. Um, so when I saturate lithium chloride in water, 26% of the moles more than a quarter of the moles are the lithium chloride. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, if you want to catch up, you can pause here. We're going to go back and do the rest. I guess they're at the top of the screen right now. Please calculate the molality of this solution. Um, molality is lowercase m instead of the uppercase m for molarity. Um, so here, molal is the moles of solute. over the kilograms of solvent. Um, this is different than molarity in two ways. Um, the moles of solute is the same, but instead of liters of solution, we now have kilograms of solvent. In this case, it's kilograms of water. Um, so that actually is not so bad. Um, this is a, a different way of thinking about concentration, but it is pretty useful. So let's do that for what we have here. Moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. Sneak peek at what's coming up. Okay, B for molality. Moles of solute over kilograms of solvent equals molal. Um, do, do we have these? We actually do have moles of solute. That's nice. So we have moles of solute from before. And that's 1.987 moles of lithium chloride. Um, I need the kilograms of solvent. So in this case, I started out with 100 milliliters of water. Um, this too looks kind of like a unit conversion. Um, I started with 100 mils of water. I need to get to kilograms. So I will get myself to grams first. Again, we'll just say it's one. Pretty close. Um, and then I need to get to kilograms. So I want kilograms. I want to get rid of grams. That's one kilogram for every thousand grams. Um, and then if I cancel, mils cancel, grams cancel, and I'm in kilograms. Okay, cool. Um, so this will end up with 0.100 kilograms. Which 
take 100 divided by 1,000, and that's what I get. Okay, very good. Um, so I have both of these, and can I plug them in? I have moles of solute. pens today. I have kilograms of solvent. And let's, yeah, dude, let's go ahead and do that. I like that. Um, okay, so molality is 1.987 moles lithium chloride over 0 0.100 kilograms of water. Um, these units seem kind of funky to me because they don't cancel or anything, but this just they are what they are. Um, so this means that this is 19.9, because I'm going to cut this to three sig figs because of the um, because of the 0 0.100 kilograms of water. 19.9 um, molal. Whoa. That's a lot of molal. This is concentrated stuff. Um, do I have the right, did I answer the right question? Yep, because I calculated molality. Do I have the right units? The units of molality are molal, just like the units of molarity are molar. Um, I have the right sig figs, because I did a division where I cut it by, I cut it to three sig figs. Okay, yeah, I feel pretty good about that. So that's molality. Um, again, if you want to pause, we're gonna, if you want to catch up, that's cool, and we're gonna keep on trucking. Please calculate the osmolality of this solution. Assuming the lithium chloride dissociates completely, this is the combined moles of everything. Every chemical. It's small. Alright, let's write this bigger. Let's do this better. Sum of all moles. Of all the solutes put together, everything that dissolved over kilograms of solution. Or excuse me, kilograms of solvent. Um, and this is usually expressed not as its own, it doesn't get a letter like capital M or lowercase m. This gets osmoles per kilogram are the units for osmolality. Um, this is really big in medicine, so if you're interested in the health fields, this is a really good one to know. Um, we'll talk a little bit more of that later when we talk about osmotic pressure. So what I have to do here is add the moles of all the solutes and then divide them over the solvent. And here's the thing. If we assume lithium chloride dissociates completely, then we're finding osmoles per kilogram. Assuming lithium chloride goes to, well, it's solid, I guess. Um, no, let's do this. Lithium chloride aqueous dissociates completely to give lithium plus and chloride. So for every mole, that's a good F, for every mole of lithium chloride, how many moles of dissolved species do I have, different chemicals? I get two moles. Of dissolved ions. Oh, so for every mole of lithium chloride, I get, I guess this would be moles or osmoles because they behave in a way that changes the osmotic pressure. Um, so I found that I had 1.987 moles of lithium chloride. I found that there were two osmoles in every mole of lithium chloride because it falls apart to give two species. gives me 3.974 osmoles. If I have the kilograms of solution, I can plug that in and 
basically you just divide it, right? Um, so I get that number of osmoles, 3.974 osmoles, that's the moles of everything in solution, every species that's dissolved, divided by 0 0.100 kilograms of water, equals 39.7, yep, because I got three six osmoles per kilogram. Um, and here this is supposed to be a capital O. I don't know why, but that's what they do. So that's what we'll do. Um, this, again, doesn't get a, uh, its own letter, like capital M or lowercase m. Um, people, as far as I've seen, express this in osmoles per kilogram for osmolality. Um, yep, so that's something um, we have. In, there's an osmometer on campus, um, so if you're interested in measuring the osmolality of different chemicals, you can do that. Pretty neat. Um, we currently do that in Chem 432 Aqueous Chem, uh, and we'll see if we can swing that into some of the lower division labs as well, maybe. Um, okay, so those are three types of concentration that we're going to do in this section. Um, we have, going back up, we have osmolality, we have molality, that's moles of solute per kilograms of solvent, um, and then we have mole fraction. Um, so these are the three. Um, go ahead and get yourself squared away with definitions for these so you can tackle them later. And we will pick up next time uh, with some more work on solubility and solutions. Thanks, y'all.